so i think let us start with the uh, java things mm -hmm. so so the very first and basic uh, difference we want to know about jdk jre and jvm jdk uh, is a broader thing it is required for the developer so uh, inside the jdk we have uh, jre that is java runtime environment jdk stand for java development kit and jre for J java runtime environment and uh, inside this we have uh, jvm java virtual machine like uh, this we have uh, available in jdk jre and jvm so for uh, development we need uh, jdk for uh, deploying our application just we need uh, java runtime environment because it's uh, uh, along with uh, um, our uh, jdk and which one is uh, available as physical jdk and jre available as physical in our local okay all right Okay. Did you heard about the vector? Yeah, I think it's a uh, adding data alternate of 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 our array. It's a global array. Yeah, that is kind of collection. Yeah. So there is I I am telling you two collections. One is array list and another one is vector. Then could you tell me the few differences between both of them? Main difference between them is uh, vector is uh, can work with uh, uh, multi-threaded environment. It's a thread safe. Uh, array list is not thread safe, so uh, array list is faster than the vector, and the vector is slower than. Okay, and if I specify, I ask you to, which one is uh, incremented by size? I think uh, array list, uh, array list and vector both are incremented by their size, uh, but uh, their load factor may differ. I think. Our uh, list have 0 0.75. They exceed exceeded their capacity, then it will increase uh, their size uh, on the basis of 0 0.75. In the case of vector, I think it's double its size. Okay, no problem. So I just uh, ping you the things. The difference between equal keyword and the double equal. Equals method. What will do? It will check uh, whether two objects are same or not. If we are uh, comparing two objects with double equals, what happens? It will check uh, what we will get. Has code value we will get. Split uh, address of object we will get, and it will compare two address. So it will uh, return false. Okay. We can compare only object. If you want to compare with values, then we can use. Uh, if you want to compare with primitive, so we can use double equal. Okay, I just put one more uh, program. Mm -hmm. It is a simplest program. Mm -hmm. Tell me the output of this program. when I know actually it's a uh, test plus 10 20 means it will print 10 test 10 20 uh, and the first one first one we have not put in bracket here ah, uh, bracket is missing so okay so same 10 20 and test I think so both line you are saying like 10 20 yes and another one is test then empty. That is the output like this. Uh, yeah, but uh, first if I put bracket, then it will thirty and test. I think. Uh, okay, no problem. We can uh, move ahead. Mm -hmm. So, do you heard uh, about the constructor? I mean, uh, have you worked on the constructor? So, uh, what is the uh, what is uh, constructor is and more specifically, can we make constructor as a final? Mm -hmm. uh, constructor uh, is like a functionality uh, which is exe executed only once uh, while our object is. Uh, Creating initial uh, operation we can write there. Clearing a constructor as a final, I don't think okay. Okay, so if you want to declare constructor as a final, so uh, what happens in subclass? Uh, uh, 
uh, we have to provide another constructor so that we can create uh, create our uh, child object I think because it is mandatory to execute uh, super class constructor while creating our child child class okay what is static blocks static blocks uh, uh, like uh, they are executed uh, first uh, like uh, suppose we are loading our class in memory so what happens it will check uh, how many static blocks we have available so it will execute uh, first then it will uh, load all the function and all so highest property always goes to our static block then uh, we have uh, uh, like uh, constructor uh, then we have after static block we have a non static block and then we have constructor so this is sequence okay uh, let's suppose we need to achieve multiple inheritance so then how can we achieve in java multiple inheritance uh, i think uh, it is not possible in java but uh, with the help of interface uh, we can extend multiple interface uh, at same time we can suppose we have x y z and uh, we want to extend multiple interface so we can use by comma separator in the class it is not possible okay and can we uh, overload uh, interfaces overloading means uh, suppose you have um, same method on child interface also okay yeah. did you heard about the composition composition uh, i think it's a part of uh, creation uh, so could you please come a little louder yeah so i think it's a part of uh, association composition uh, means uh, uh, like uh, we have dependent uh, dependent uh, object in our class so, so what we are doing uh, suppose we have a car and engine we have so in the uh, uh, car uh, class we want engine as a uh, composition so uh, it will it will be tight coupled no, 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 no need no need for the example mm -hmm. no need that's okay. enough that's enough okay so let's suppose uh, i have a variable and i want to make that variable as a final blank then what will happen with this variable Yeah, we can uh, declare variable as final uh, without value, but uh, uh, we have to pass the value inside the console to initialize at least one side. Can can we pass the value? Uh, we can pass in the constructor, and we can initialize it only once. Okay. 